everyone, it's Jordan. Today I'm going to be doing the Nightmare Before Christmas book tag. So I'm seeing this kind of video flowing around for a while. I know Jim from Bogus Gems have done this tag last year, which I'll link in the description down below so you guys can check it out. And, and since I love Nightmare Before Christmas, I thought I'd do this tag. And plus... Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas has become one of my favorite Halloween slash Christmas movie and Kevin and I got to meet the characters during Mickey's as a Scary Halloween Party during the honeymoon and I thought what why not so yeah let's get to the book tag so the first question is is Jack find a book with a character that longs for more and the book that I picked for this is Evelyn Hugo uh, from the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid and, and the reason I picked her for this answer is because I know she wants to be a movie actress and she just wants a, a movie career. So she wants more than just an ordinary life. So yeah, that's why I picked Evelyn Hugo for this question. So the next question is, is Sally a book with a character that loves someone so much that they get them in the end? And this, is, this book kind of spoiler spoils a bit because it's part of the story which is the bromance book club by Lisa k adams and and of course uh, this book is all about a baseball player who wants to win back his wife and he goes to his teammates who created this book club to basically romance better and that's what i love about this book is now uh, and, and of course spoilers and i'm pretty sure it's kind of obvious um at the and that he will get his wife back. So, yeah, I just love this book so much for that. <laughs> and the next question is, is Zero a book with a loyal side psychic character? And a, and a character that I've all, I honestly always think of. Uh, this character is always what I think of when I my, saw my favorite sidekicks in a book. Which is Aiko from the Lunar Chronicles. I just love her so much. She's just so funny and I just couldn't stop laughing she just she just makes me laugh and i just really um love her personality and i just um, um love her character in the luna chronicles and the next question is is oogie boogie a book with a wicked villain and this one's really hard because i honestly don't remember a lot of books i've read this year that has villains but this one i honestly was like oh yeah they, they are villains in this book which is um the rats and delphine a silver you know, by Alyssa uh, Moon. I honestly thought they were very, they sound very intimidating in this book. And I'm pretty sure they're more intimidating when in the sequel. And I'm just, uh, they're very intimidating um, villains to me. But it's just really, I just really like, and, it, and it's, I, I don't, I'm trying to figure out what I was trying to say here. But either way, they, they're, it, the rats in this book are really good villains in this book. Book. And the next question is Halloween Town, a book that is creepy or has a scary theme. And the book that I picked for this, like I thought of the obvious answer, which is uh, um, Long Live the Pumpkin Queen. I thought about having an answer to all of that, but I thought that was a bit cheating because it is a book about Sally. But the book that I picked for Halloween Town is Rising the Horsemen by Serena Valentino. This is a uh, Legend of Sleepy Hollows retelling, and this is does have uh, creepy and scary themes just because um, the, the main character has brought back the horseman by force, and they had to figure out how to like get rid of him. So that's basically yeah, that's how I find it scary. I'm from my Reddit. It does seem a bit dark, but I mean the original. Story on um, Legend of Sleepy Hollow was pretty dark too, but yeah, this book does have um, creepy and scary uh, vibes in it. And the next question is Christmas Town, a book that made you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. And the book that I picked for this is The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston. I just love this book so much. Um, Ashley Poston is becoming one of my favorite authors, and I just can't wait to read more from her. And this and uh, and the main care this just this book just really warms my hard a lot and especially when she's uh there's like two things the main character is going through one her father's death and some ghosts like falling her around so yeah i but this book 
Oh my gosh, it's just so good and it makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> And the last question is, was this a book that took you by surprise? And there were, I was trying to figure out what books that surprised me this year, but there were some that I found surprisingly disappointed, but I'm not sure if I should bring out the negativity on books that brought me by surprise. But the book that surprised me the most is The Diviners by Libra Bray in a good way because um, I know this was a historical um, fiction because it takes place in the 19... 20s but also there's like a murder mystery in it which I that surprised me a bit because I didn't expect that going into it but I know that this was a very popular series so I can't wait to read um more in the series it anyway it's just because of how su surprised I was on liking it so that's all for the nightmare, nightmare before Christmas book tag if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up and comment down below what um uh, if you watch nightmare before Christmas during Christmas or Halloween or both, let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> if you haven't already, click that subscribe button and click that bell icon so you know if I ever post out videos. Also, you can follow me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads, which all links will be down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!